Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Monday, May 17, 2021. On Friday, the markets finished strong with one of the largest rallies we've seen in several weeks. We had the biggest rally in 20 days trigger, which is a pattern within the Discover platform that we can look at this morning. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me go ahead and load this up, looking at all four instruments. The setup's going to be based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours and exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4 15 p.m. Eastern time. So the opening filter that we're going to be using for this pattern is gap down. We're currently trading down in the overnight session. So that's what I'm going to put here. And then next, I'm going to go into the price patterns library. And I'm going to grab the pattern from the active today section that says that Friday was the largest rally of the past 20 sessions. So that took place on Friday. We had that big trend day up. And I've added that now to the test. Next, I can go into the indicator section. I'm going to put us in a similar market environment. We pushed up above the 10-day uh, moving average on Friday, and we are also above a 200-day simple moving average. So now I've added that to the test as well. Now I can click View Results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you open below the prior session closing price, and the prior session had the largest rally of the past 20 sessions. And that rally is based on a close-to-close -close movement. So a giant update there on Friday. This has taken place above a 10 and above a 200-day simple moving average. So historically, we've got 72 samples of the S&P with this pattern dating back to 2003. It's happened 63 times in the NASDAQ, 55 in the Dow, and 64 and the Russell. If we look at the win rates on these, they're pretty neutral overall. You can see the S&P is about 51% there. The NASDAQ, 57% of those have closed above the opening print for the day. The Dow, 44%, and the Russell, 48%. So none of those really stand out as great win rates. But if you look at the equity curves, you can see they are all kind of trending lower there. Um, across all four instruments. And that's because the average loss on these is larger than the average win. So when you combine that with kind of neutral win rates, you get overall uh, equity curves that move to the downside. So you can see on the S&P, the average loss over twice the size of the average win. Uh, the average loss quite a bit larger than the average win in the NASDAQ. Um, the Dow, average loss over twice the size of the average win. And again, in the Russell, the average loss is quite a bit larger than the average win. So that is consistent across all four instruments, whereas the winning rate is not consistent. Those are just neutral or so um, there with the four different instruments. So historically, this pattern has not shown a real tendency to close one way or the other, but it has shown that consistently the bigger moves have been to the downside following that largest rally of the past 20 days pattern uh, that we're looking at here. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we'll see you next time.